Good morning. I successfully stayed at this trailhead. No park rangers interrupted my slumber, which is nice. My hike in Slough Creek. Seen tons of people with uh, fishing poles and stuff out here. But today is my last full day in Yellowstone. Plan for today. After this hike, I'm gonna be going to my campsite that I got a backcountry permit for, uh, Blacktail Creek. That's the trailhead that I'm going in, and I think it's actually uh, Rescue Creek, where my campsite is right next to. Made it to Slough Creek. It is truly serene out here. Really pretty. You can hear all the birds. Really nice day. There's literally not a cloud in the sky. I'm heading back to the Jeep. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. I wish I had a little bit more time, but I want to get, you know, somewhat of an early start on hiking to my campsite, gather some wood, hopefully get a good parking spot. Got all my stuff in my pack. Made sure to pack s'mores this time. So I'm on my way off to my campsite. It's only about like two, two and a half miles away from the trailhead right here. All right, so just wanted to show you on the map. We are here, this is the trailhead. I'm gonna come up here and that is my campsite right there. So you can see it's super close. That was one of the few that I can have fires at though. So that's why I chose that one. Also another thing I wanted to show you, whenever you see these, that means recently, within the last like month or two, there has been uh, sightings of bears. So definitely something to uh, not necessarily be concerned about, but just be alert, head on a swivel. Well, you can see there's not a lot of shade coverage around here. So I'm hoping my site has some trees. A lot of pretty flowers though. 1A2, we made it. You can see it just up ahead right up there. Looks like you got some trees. Looks like there's plenty of dead trees around there too. It's a little stream on the bottom there I can hear. Yeah, there we go. There's a stream going right up to the campsite actually. So good, I'll have water, I'll have trees. Oh, and look at what else. Little elk, elk antlers and skull. Under these rocks, that's pretty cool. And if I go about a mile that way, I'll be in Montana. So I think I'm gonna set up camp and then go to Montana. Here's home on the range. Here's that little creek I was talking about. Not even a creek, just a babbling brook. Get some water from there, that would be nice. Got a little fire pit. I hang all my food up there. Look what else I found. Wow. Freaking elk graveyard. Look at this. Pretty sure this is elk. One, two, three, freaking four, five, six. I don't know. That's a lot of bones. Huh, I wonder why they're all dying over here. Well, I got my food all hung there, my Kevlar bag. It's a dark gray cloud right over us. Well, forecast said it wasn't supposed to rain. We all know how that goes. So I'm gonna go and bring my pack and my tent and everything up that dang freaking hill. Got my tents all set up underneath these trees. I just took like a little Half hour power nap. Woke up to the clouds looking all crazy like this. And if it does rain, I hope it's done before supper time because I can't really cook anything. I can't really eat anything when it's raining. Unless I want to eat in the rain.
at all this firewood that I got. If you know anything about me or seen any of my previous videos, you know this is pretty typical of me. Especially how I sort it out and stuff. I like having a lot of, a lot of extra firewood. Um, I also, there's two other things besides firewood that you need for a fire. One, a poke and stick. So you can kind of move the wood and stuff around. And two, which I haven't gotten yet, a stick for roasting marshmallows for s'mores. So I'm going to go find a stick that would be suitable for that.